Testimony continued today in the case of former police officer Derek Chauvin, who's on trial for the death of George Floyd. Prosecutors today played this animation for jurors, which they say gives a new perspective of what was happening as George Floyd took his last breaths. It's disturbing animation played today at the trial of former cop Derek Chauvin. In the witness stand was Dr. Martin Tobin, one of the world's leading experts on breathing. You see underneath Mr. Floyd and now the car has been removed. And so you're able to see how they're positioned at different points. He told the jury that Floyd died from lack of oxygen, refuting the defense claim that he died from a drug overdose. A healthy person subjected to what Mr. Floyd was subjected to would have died. Dr. Tobin said the combination of Chauvin's knee on Floyd's neck and back, the position of the handcuffs, and the hard street surface prevented Floyd from breathing. It's like the left side is in a vice. It's totally being pushed in, squeezed in from each side. It was almost to the effect as if a surgeon had gone in and removed the lung. Not quite, but along those lines. Trial watchers say the doctor was a star prosecution witness. Brooke, the only word I can think of for that testimony is devastating. It was devastating for Derek Chauvin's defense. It was devastating, frankly, to watch it. Dr. Tobin unbuttoned his shirt to show the jury the soft tissue above the Adam's apple that was compressed by Chauvin's knee on the back of Floyd's neck. Bring your finger up to the top of your Adam's apple and up at the top of your Adam's apple you're now directly over the hypopharynx and the hypopharynx is the crucial area in Mr. Floyd. He estimated Chauvin pressed about 91 pounds of pressure on George Floyd's neck and that Floyd suffered brain damage about four minutes before paramedics arrived due to the lack of oxygen. He wouldn't have an ounce of oxygen left in his entire body. Dr. Tobin said based on the evidence he's seen, he does not believe drugs played a role in George Floyd's death.